Okay, so the scenario, we are a buyer, and please make sure you project so that way everybody yeah. in the back can, can hear you if we need I to stand that way. But yeah, <laughs> exactly. So the situation, um, it's a buyer, and we're at an open house, so we're in person, um, and we've been chatting. Um, and I say, you know, you seem like you're too successful to really have time for us. Oh, for sure. I can, I can, I get that actually a lot. And most of my open house that comes up in conversation. What makes you say, you know, too, too successful? What, what do you mean too successful? Well, it sounds like, you know, you've done all these deals and you have this large team and you know, we're, we really want a lot of attention. We're kind of needy and for picky. Sure. For sure. And then just, just to help you understand the, you know, we've helped many, many, many people get what they're looking for um, in a home. And the it's really the systems that we have in place that allow us to do it on a little more of a volume scale. My personal commitment to you is really more of a concierge experience where we get to know each other a little bit more about what you're specifically looking for. Um, so when it comes to working with Joel, um, who is a part of Whistle Realty, it's all about Rachel. And, and it's, it's establishing a team, a partnership at, at foremost between you and I, and then being able to lean on our team for the systems we have in place. Does that make sense? Mm, yeah, that's helpful. So are you asking that question because you're hoping for a more curated, personalized experience? Yeah, we had an agent before who just sort of sent us properties and they weren't really what we wanted. And it just, I don't know, it, it wasn't a great experience. For sure, for sure. So you're looking, you're looking for a real partnership here. I will tell you, again, we have an amazing reputation. I've got an amazing reputation. Part of the way I've built that reputation is by knowing, a establishing boundaries for myself. Three buyers per month is about what I'm comfortable giving that total experience to. So that's what I've, that's the limit that I've set for myself to ensure that you receive as much energy as possible because it's a huge, it's definitely a you know huge commitment for you to buy a new home, right? Totally, that makes me feel better. Cool, so with that said, it seems to me like, I mean, the step one for building out our partnership would be to get together and kind of walk through exactly what you're looking for and in, in both the agent that you work for and the home that you're hoping to find and uh, getting started. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, let's set up an appointment for tomorrow. How's tomorrow afternoon work? That's perfect. All right, let's do it. Thanks, awesome. Rachel. Thanks, Thanks, Rachel. One second. Thank you. Thank nice you. work. I know this is, I think we got new ones. I just pressed them. Um, shit. Yeah, you're good. You sure? So we got the timer, and we got two minutes. Um, the final round is three minutes, since I know you're outside when I mentioned that. So we're a, I'm a buyer, we're at an open house. And my objection is, you know, you seem like you're too successful to really have time for us. Okay, what do you mean by too successful? Too fly? <laughs> no, you look great. I mean, you just, you know, you have all the a big team and you, you guys have said you've done all these deals, so I don't want to get lost in the mix. I'm kind of needy. Okay, have you bought a home before? No, we've been trying though. Okay, okay. What's your trying experience been like? Well, we had an agent we were kind of working with, but I don't know, they kind of sent properties that weren't really a fit and we didn't feel like we were really being heard. So I'm, I'm looking for a better experience this time around. Okay, so in a better experience, it sounds like you want someone that's attentive and can hear what exactly you want and send you the right types of properties? Yes, definitely. Okay, is this home the type of property you want? It's, a, it's it definitely has some things we like, but I don't think it's the one. Okay, okay. Well, um, you know, in my experience, I feel like a lot of people see me and they get kind of confused with how, how busy I am. But the great thing about the Whistle experience is that we like to make sure that we're catering to our clients. I can only take about four to five clients, VIP clients is what I call them, at a time so I can make sure I can be as attentive to them as possible, make sure I'm setting the right type of properties, setting the clear expectations, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna get you into the property that you feel comfortable uh, purchasing you and your family and, and making some memories uh, in. So um, tell me this, is there a time in like, you know, maybe in the next like hour, once I'm done with this open house that we can sit down and go over exactly what it is that you're looking for and then I can show you what we do that sets us, sets us apart? Yeah, I'm definitely open to that after hearing that. Okay, well then let's put you down for uh, 1.30 and then um, we can just either go to the there's a, a Spencer's or whatever's down the street. We can make that happen. Perfect. Let's do right. it. Let's go. Bon bon. Judges, 
is, are we ready for our answer? Do we need another second? Yeah. Uh, I'll kick it off, I guess. Uh, Joel, I think you did a really good job. I think you both were actually closer than I expected it to be. Uh, overall, I'm going to give it to Kobe. I like that you productized the VIP and tied it down. So when you go for that close, it's going to be there. Otherwise, I think you guys had a lot of similar traits in your close. Yeah, I agree. I, um, I, I think it was super close. I just felt that Kobe, he was getting a little bit more personable and asking the questions of really what she is like wanting and then what her understanding of a successful agent is. And so I'm going to give it to Kobe. All right, congrats, Kobe. Not like it matters now, but I actually am voting Joel. It came down to two very little things. Joel, you had me with the concierge experience. I love that phrasing. I think it really shows. And one little uh, feedback for Kobe, um, filled in a little bit for her what she was looking for and instead of letting her have that space to do so. so. You guys want to read Awesome. All right, so Kobe's moving on to the next round.